Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a happy Tuesday. Just want to give some CEO updates. I'm going to try to do these daily, just short little snippets. Uh, but yeah, Let's see, first day, Monday, done. Definitely very intense, but a lot of good work done. Uh, just want to give some updates. I know that there was some stuff on the Telegram chat that I guess didn't necessarily get uh, to be or questions that didn't get to make the, the pre-recorded AMA. So go ahead and get get that answered. Um, I believe uh, Thomas uh, sent a reply in the chat, but wanna give a video just so you guys can see my face and hear it straight from the horse's mouth. So um, so yeah, uh, I guess one of the questions, one of the bigger questions was about the 50 million tokens within the the uh, project fund wallet. Uh, I think Thomas did a good job explaining it, but I'll go ahead and uh, start from the beginning and just kind of go from there. So the project fund wallet, originally, uh, that was token set aside from uh, from the dev wallet to uh, to finance solar projects as as they came through. So the amount in there was never really enough to finance any anything significant uh, but it was supposed to just be met as as a starter uh, a starter so once we started getting getting um, higher volumes then we'd be able to to uh, grow it and finance projects as, as it came through uh, but as things went on trying to get the, the D app developed and everything uh, we ultimately just ran out of ran out of runway and I mean, startup companies are facing challenges all the time, trying to make everything last. And at the time, whenever there's no money coming in, uh, we had to stretch the dollar as far as it'll go. Um, but obviously, I mean, definitely a new venture for me, for everybody on the team. We did our best. We discussed things to make sure that we could that we could uh, allocate the money as efficiently as possible. I mean, I think you guys kind of noticed that with the progression of of um, YouTube videos and the no YouTube videos, or in regards to uh, paid advertisements from from influencers and stuff like that, and things just kind of slowly progressed down after after we peaked. Um, and one thing that we learned uh, in hindsight, uh, I did not realize this at the time, um, but uh, a lot of projects, once they hit their anticipated peak, they'll do a pretty decent sell-off so that they can secure a lot of funds, secure a lot of funds uh, to uh, power through the expenses that they may have. Uh, we try to take a, a different philosophy uh, because we didn't want to, we didn't want to uh, disrupt the flow, the natural flow of what the community and what the people were doing. So. Uh, so we would do little tiny, little tiny cells to get, uh, to get the dollars to be able to pay for what we needed to do, uh, which ultimately kind of bit us in, in the butt, but it's still fine. I, I wouldn't change anything about that because we tried to bring something different and it just, it just didn't work out. So, and then the whole thing with, with Alex, that was a whole ordeal and it sucked at the time. We couldn't really discuss too much about what was going on. I think we could discuss it now if, if we get in trouble, then I guess so be it. But <laughs> um, but with Alex, um, after we learned who he was and and uh, what was what happened, ultimately he was not not a good actor, and uh, we were reached out by the FBI. Uh, they asked us to keep quiet about it while they reached out to. To other, I won't bring up the names of the other projects that he targeted targeted as well. Uh, he took a lot more money from those projects, not than he did from us. But they just asked us to keep everything quiet while they while they uh, try to trap him and find out uh, what his next moves were going to be. So we pretty much were just in a spot to where we couldn't really be as transparent as we would have liked to with the community. But it is what it is. Um, so. The ult ultimately, we just eventually ran out of total runway altogether, and that's where you kind of see us scrambling around with a bunch of different ideas, trying to 
raise capital, which ultimately was not the most efficient use of our time or uh, just not very efficient overall. We're kind of in like panic mode, scramble mode, trying to just get whatever, get whatever we, we could. So after all that, uh, we just kind of took a step back, regrouped, rethought our strategy um, and figured out what we wanted to do that was grounded in actual in the actual world of, of business to correlate with what we wanted to do in in uh, the world of, of crypto um, so that's where the, the beginning two quarters of 2022 uh, or quarter and a half uh, we it's just been a lot of networking a lot of grinding it out a lot of rough stuff on, on the back end trying to get presentations and documents and stuff completed so that we can show someone who or yeah show someone what we're capable of what we're what we're wanting to do and ultimately it worked out uh, at the end of the day but uh it's definitely very very grueling um definitely grueling but the community definitely definitely didn't deserve to go through I guess that whole process we is you guys were kind of voluntold voluntold uh, rather than rather than uh, knowing what, what was going on and um, the community wasn't very big to begin with but what little community we had pretty much just dwindled all together except with with the exception of, of a few which is why we're extremely appreciative of the few of you who are still here. Um, and I was trying to make another point. I feel like I'm just kind of rambling on. But anyway, um, yeah, definitely appreciative of the few that are still here. Um, now that uh, we're finally in the spot that we wanted to be, we are, we are pretty much tapped into an unlimited supply of resources that we're going to use to, to, uh, exponentially grow this entire this entire project ah this is the point i was trying to make um my arm is getting tired holy cow <laughs> uh, crap forgot the point again <laughs> okay give me a second okay so point uh so i'm just extremely proud of our guys and our team because i believe if it was any other project going through the exact same thing running out of runway a lot of times just just means packing it up and going on to the next venture and not really giving much regard for for what was considered a failure at, at the very beginning but uh I, our team has a lot of resolve we we stuck around with it even though it seemed fruitless at times oh one second even though it seemed fruitless at times and and um yeah i think it just shows a lot about the team uh, deciding to stick through stick through this because we believed in the vision uh and none of us went went everywhere every single team member except for alex is uh still on the team and each one of us went through our own individual hardships that i won't get into but but uh we stayed nonetheless and we're here for it but yet as like with everything that we've been going through i understand that that may like people just see what's on the outside they don't understand what's going on on the inside which is totally fine i am man enough to admit whenever things went wrong and to take responsibility for it i take full responsibility for everything that's been going on as a CEO. My number one job should have been to make sure that we had enough money to keep the project going, going strong without any, any hiccups. And I 100% failed in that regard. But I think what we have going on here in the next two quarters is going to more. Sorry about that. Um, I think what we have going on here in the next two quarters is going to more than make up for for everything in the past and it's going to be uh, ancient history. So let's keep this marked down and remember it once we get to that, that unicorn status, where we were and all the <laughs> all the struggles and the work it, it took it took to, to get here. So um, so if if for those of you who 
who feel like you can't trust the project anymore and you want to move on, that's completely fine. Uh, but just know that we, even the ones who, who aren't with the project anymore, we still definitely care about every single one of you. We, we hope and pray that you guys are, are doing well. And if we're in a position to where we can help, if you guys are ever in a situation, then definitely reach out. Uh, I want to try to try my best to have eyes on everything that's going on in the community. So wherever there's, there's an energy that we could put towards making a positive impact, then we could definitely do that. So I'm gonna call that a wrap for this one. You guys have an awesome day and we'll keep you updated with all the stuff going on. Be sure to stay tuned for this Friday for the big update on who our partner is.